YouTube, I'm back. Okay, I'm getting ready to mix in my lye water with my um, melted oil. I have 11.85 um, ounces of um, rainwater that was um, steeped with the lavender buzz. And uh, so 5.0 lye. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed. Okay, like when you're soaping, please make sure you, know, you use all your safety precautions. Um, I'm being bad. Um, put that to the side. So this is what it looks like. It's not pretty. It's actually an ugly color. Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to stir up a little bit like this. And I do see where I have some oils in there that have solidified um, while I was waiting for the lye to come back to stay. Because it was like at 70 degrees on the lye. So I bring it back up to temperature. Ew, that looks pukey. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I'm getting ready to buzz it. And I'll be right back. Or, you know, my buzzer is not so bad. Like some people, it's like, oh, MG. I melted some one ounce of shea butter to super fat it with and some jojoba oil. So we'll see how this comes out. Yeah, see that's not that bad. As I give it a whirl around. So this is going to be another hot process double boiler soap. I do like that. Um, works great for me. So I'm in the soapy mood, so we'll just get this. I'm not sure how fast this will come to trace. This is another um, soap I made up myself, so we'll see how it works out. I only make them in two pound batches. I think this is three pounds, though. It's not bad. Which is vegetable shortening lard, coconut oil, sunflower shade, jojoba oil, um, lye, and rainwater. So, I know this is like the boring part, so I'm going to go ahead and um, put the camera down and, and I'll be back. 